They began in Big Lake two days ago. Tuesday afternoon, and the lead pack is halfway through the Iron Dog, 1,000 miles into the world's longest snow, uh, snow machine race. And greeting the drivers in Nome is Lauren Majera. Hello, Lauren. Thanks, Kevin. Well, as the sun rose this morning, everyone could tell it was going to be a good day. The sky was blue, there was surprisingly no wind, and it was a pleasant eight degrees. But as the racers pulled in, nobody could have guessed how exceptional this day turned out to be. The trail class pulled into Nome with record breaking time. All right, you made it, man. Good job. We weren't doing here till tonight, but it was such a good trail. We just decided to come home. Those same trail conditions are expected to have a similar impact on the pro class. The race so far has been a very fast race. The pace is, is some of the fastest times we've seen it and very few scratches. We've only got one team scratched uh, so it tells me that the course is good and and uh, nice and hard and been put in so they're running fast. No, you guys made good time. Not bad. Not yeah. Bad. Yeah, not we bad at all. for about 40 minutes today. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Teams make a point to prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. And those hopeful wishes are becoming a reality. They usually don't call the marshal unless there's any problems, so haven't heard from them, so no news is good news. There is still a $10,000 cash prize at stake for the first team to arrive, as the town itself is eager to see the first teams pull into the chute. Oh, yeah, that energy level goes up. I mean... There's a lot of people here that enjoy the racing, and I know I get excited when the races are coming in, and uh, people are watching. It was those perfect trail conditions that had Dusty Van Meter and Mark McKenna pulling into Nome first, breaking the record for the earliest arrival at the halfway mark. The team is awarded 10 grand for their accomplishment, but there's a whole nother thousand miles to this race, and they have many teams hot on their trail. We could see them here and there. We can see some snow dust, and it makes you want to go after them a little more. But, you know, then again, you start, you, know, you make one mistake, and you break a leg, or, you, you know, you make a stupid mistake, That's uh, and then you're out of the race. Well, Mike Morgan and Chris Olds pulled in minutes just in second place. Morgan told me that he had that $10,000 prize hot on his mind ever since Unicleat. Well, Chris told her that you've got to get that out of your head because while you're chasing these teams for that $10,000, you could be going too fast and have an accident and then be out of the race entirely or have a broken leg. So at this point, they're just trying to ride safe and sound. Right now, the teams are just focusing on R&R &R and fixing up their sleds. We've got a photo gallery never seen before video on our website at KT. UU.com as Kevin's got an updated leaderboard right now. Kevin? Yeah, Todd Minnick, Nick Olstead, third, Ryan Soto, Santi Andrews, Wink, Huntington, and West rounding out the top five. Lauren, thank you. Lauren Majera, live and no.